to set up an online store on Squarespace. Today I have a quick video to give you an introduction to the Squarespace um, e-commerce platform. So this will help you kickstart your online shop. Okay, before diving in, I will provide a brief overview to get familiar with the platform. Okay, now let's click on get started button here, or we can also simply click on templates option. So if you are new to Squarespace and have just created your account, or if you have recently logged in, you may be prompted with a few additional questions for setup. So in any case, let's proceed and explore the template section uh, together. Okay, here you can start with any template of your choice, which will save you some time. So just choose a template that best matches your needs and help you get started quickly. Well, it doesn't really matter which template you choose because ultimately you can customize it to your liking. So here, if you click on the edit option here, you can easily rearrange blocks, uh, add sections and make other modifications. But for now, let's focus on the e-commerce for now. So to get your online store up and running, let's start by creating a page for your e-commerce section. So just click on the page option and choose the store category. So here you'll be presented with uh, several examples to choose from. And of course, you can always add more blocks or customize the layout further later on. So for example, if you have more than three products, you prefer different way of showcasing your products. You can easily make those adjustments. So now let's proceed with the chosen template. And now we have our main page and also a store page. So you can customize both of these pages just like any other store page. Um, okay, so if you prefer, you can follow the provided steps, uh, which can greatly assist you in the process. It's recommended to go through uh, these steps for a smoother experience. Um, but if you wish, you can hide the steps from the view. Okay, now let's explore more and see what we can do. So here you have the option to select one of um, the available detail page layouts. This detail page is the page that customers will see when they click on an item in your store. So you can choose a layout that showcases a large picture of your product or one that displays a full or half picture. So here let's just go with a half picture layout. When you're editing the detail page, you can um, easily make changes. This includes modifying the product name, updating description, and adding new image. So the process is similar for adding a new product. So in our case, I'm editing an existing physical product, but you can create your own page if you prefer. And also within the store section, you have the option to add another store. So here you can create a new store or even add a new category within your existing store. Okay, so for now, let's imagine that you are starting from scratch and creating a brand new store. So to do this, just click on the option to create a new store. Okay, now your new store is set up and you can proceed with um, editing it. So let's go back to the other store and um, explore more. Okay, so to dive into the details, click on the edit button for the specific product. So here you can modify the product name, description and add any additional information you want to include. So similar to the website editor, you have um, the option to add various elements such as blogs, spacers, text and image. This allows you to easily customize the appearance of the product detail page according to your preference. Okay, so here you can also upload images for your uh, products. The featured image service as a thumbnail or main page that represents each product. So editing the featured image is also a straightforward process. Okay, so moving on, let's take a look at the options available for adjusting prices. So if you have a product on sale, you can easily add a sale price. The other is you can adjust quantities based on uh, availability. So for example, if it is a limited quantity item, you can specify the available quantity. On the other hand uh, here, if it is a digital product uh, without any limitations, you can just set it as unlimited quantity. So another feature is that 
the ability to add a product variant, as you can see here. This is particularly used when selling items like um, shirts with different options. So, for example, you can add variants such as black, white, um, and blue versions of a shirt. So, simply enter the variant name and add it. So, here also add another one just by clicking the plus icon here, like um, sizes. So, here on sizes, you can add options like um, small, medium, large, and extra large by typing them and pressing enter. So, you can create as many variants as you want. Okay, now once you have added the variant, make sure to save your changes. You'll then see all the variants listed, like this match we mentioned earlier. So from there, you can edit each variant individually, adjusting the price, available units, SKU, and other relevant details. So now let's see the editing options for the shipping settings. Well, depending on the size and weight of your products, you can adjust the shipping settings. So for smaller items like um, shirts, you may not need to provide a precise dimensions. But if you are selling larger or heavier products, I suggest include accurate measurements for the shipping purpose. So shipping companies often consider the size and weight of uh, the item when calculating the shipping costs, so it can be beneficial to provide this information. Okay, so moving on, we have the option to create categories for your products uh, here. For example, if you sell shirts, you can create a category called shirts. And also, if you want to add more specific subcategories, you can create subcategories like, um, let's say, undershirts. This step helps you to organize your products and make it easier for customers to navigate your stores. And the other is you can add tags to your products uh, based on their type. For example, you can add tags like shirts or clothing to categorize your products um, further. So these tags will help customers find uh, specific products when using search or filtering options on your store. And lastly, there is a visibility setting here, as you can see, which allows you to control when a product is visible on your store. So you can schedule the visibility of a product, making it available for um, a specific period of time or during a certain promotions or events. So another useful feature is to showcase um, featured products. So by enabling this option, you can highlight specific items. So this will boost your sales as customers who are interested in one product might be inclined to search and purchase other featured items as well. Okay, so the other is to improve the visibility of your product and make them easier to find. You can optimize them for a search engine optimization here. So this involves implementing strategies to improve your product's ranking in a search engine uh, results. Well, by doing so, you increase the chances of um, attracting more potential customers uh, to your store. Okay, so the other is you have the option to integrate social media uh, sharing functionality. This allows customers to easily uh, share your products on various social media platforms, uh, expanding your reach and driving more traffic to your store. So lastly, the checkout option can be customized to your needs. Well, depending on what you're selling and your preferences, uh, you can actually make the checkout process to provide a user-friendly experience for your customers. You also have the option to create your own store name that aligns with your branding so that you can customize it to match your store's identity. And similarly, you can edit the navigation title and the URL to make them more relevant. Next, in the settings section, you'll find options to manage categories and subcategories. Well, this allows you to create and organize them as needed. So here you can add as many categories as you need. As I've said before, if you want to uh, improve your discoverability of your store, the Squarespace provides uh, search engine optimization features. Well, these tools enable you to optimize your store's content and tags which will help you rank higher in uh, search engine results and making it easier for potential customers to find. And you can also customize social image associated with your store. 
This image is used when sharing your source link on a social media platform. And here you have this advanced settings section. Here you can adjust the quick view functionality, which will allow customers to quickly preview product details. You can also manage tags, which can be added to products, improve organizations and searchability. Okay, now once you have everything set up, including your store, page, categories, subcategories and products, you are ready to start showcasing your offerings to your customers. Okay, so next navigate to the commerce section here. So here you can manage various um, aspects of your online sales, like integration with other platforms like Facebook and Instagram. If you are already familiar with these integrations, you can proceed with the next steps. So to ensure you can receive payments for your products, you can just go to commerce payments. Here you'll have the option to set up a Stripe or PayPal account, which will allow you to process transactions um, securely. So here you can also select the currency that aligns with your location. So once you have set up your payment information, just go to the shipping setting, especially if you are selling um, physical products. Here you can configure your uh, shipping options. So you can set up different rates based on weight, use flat rate shipping and adjust the options based on the shipping company you prefer. So if you offer pickup options, you can also configure those settings here. Okay, so setting up your online store with Squarespace is a straightforward process. So just by following these steps, you can create a professional looking website and start selling your products um, efficiently. Okay, so that wraps up for today. I hope that you've gained valuable insights from this video. Thank you for watching.